I hope everybody keep well and today I am gonna give you the advice about the best places that you can visit when you came to Mexico. So let's do it! The main attraction it is the Palacio of Bellas Artes. You can find in there a theater, a museum, library, restaurants and offices. It is open to the public Monday to Sunday and for you be allowed to take a picture or recording video you need to pay 30 pesos. Inside of the museum, you can see a beautiful stained glass unique in the world as it's made it with crystals shaping the volcano Popocatépetl and Isla Cihuatl. Once in the city center, you can go to the Monumento a la Revolución. This architecture is dedicated to commemoration of the Mexican Revolution. The columns are adapted as a crypt for the remains of presidents. Now you can walk for Paseo de la Reforma Avenue until meet the Angel of Independence. This monument reminds us of the four of all those who fought for the independence of Mexico. As a curiosity, the face of the angel points to the city center. A little bit more far away, but not for that less important, we can see the Castillo Chapultepec. Here was where the Mexica's emperors had their houses rest. Also, is used as a campus for different films like Romeo and Juliet, starring for Leonardo DiCaprio. Walking south, we want to arrive to Coyoacán. In here, the main building is La Parroquia de San Juan Bautista. This is still in a convent and the public can access to the gardens in there. It is best known for their colony architecture and also because most of the artists live in this area. In its surroundings, we will find art galleries, craft markets, jewelry stores, ice cream and coffee shops, and also opener bars. Coyoacán has beautiful gardens, fountains, nurseries, and uncountable mystical characters that you can find get it lost in its streets. Don't forget to buy some souvenirs for your family and friends, also to drink some traditional coffee. You can go to the Harocho coffee shop and you can find two different branches of it in there, one in the center and the other in Mexico Avenue. Another thing that you have to do is go to the Frida Kahlo house. It was from her family until they decided to sell it and make it a museum. In there, you can find the original bedroom for nature and the best art of words from Diego Rivera. You can see the real and beautiful murals. Another interesting point for the Catholics and believers, it is the Basilica de Guadalupe. This it is located in the Cerro del Tepeyac and is dedicated only for the Virgin of Guadalupe. It was visited for the Papa Juan Pablo II in five occasions. If what you are looking for is some fun, I recommend you 100% Xochimilco. Here, the canals were a transportation system created by the Aztecas. The atmosphere that is breathing here it is festival thanks to the trajiners that they are used as a maritime commerce. You can find some food, candies, souvenirs, and also the traditional music played by the mariachi. If you are traveling on November, there is a special event called the Legend of the Llorona. The best thing is that you book your tickets before to came and this is presented at night in the middle of the lake, so you must access by a trajiner. Finally, we have Teotihuacan. There is an archaeological complex in the north of Mexico City, considered a world heritage by UNESCO. You can find the Road of the Dead, the Temple of Quetzalcoatl, and also the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon that you can climb to the top for have a panoramic views. If you want an extra activity and the weather is so nice, you can read a hot air balloon. Well, guys, I hope this video was useful for everybody. So when you came to Mexico City, you can go to visit 
nice and beautiful places so please make sure to leave me a like and also to subscribe my channel and share the video so see you in the next one thank you so much bye guys keep well